Good morning. Today is the next day. We had a really nice night last night. We had dinner at Shorts. It was so good. We're super busy, so we had to wait a little bit, but well worth the wait. So good. We were able to go there, and now we are getting ready to head to Torch Lake. We have a pontoon boat rental for the day, but it's supposed to storm really bad this afternoon, so I think we're probably only going to so I think we're probably only going to be on the boat for about three, four hours. We're just going to kind of play it by ear because we just don't want to get stuck out on the lake if it is raining. So that is our plan for the day. So let's head to Torch Lake. Torch Lake is located really close to Bel Air. So it was just a short drive over to Torch Lake. We had already prearranged our pontoon boat rental, so we headed to the boat rental place to get everything situated. We went inside, we got there right before 9 o'clock, and we did all the necessary paperwork to rent the pontoon boat. Before we left in our boat, we went over all of the rules and everything to know about the pontoon boat with one of the employees, and then he also helped drive the boat out of the dock because it was a tight squeeze, and so that was really great. Hi, so across the water, across the Unfortunately, since we didn't have the greatest weather and there was going to be a storm later on that day, the air was kind of foggy and you couldn't really see the clear blue water that you normally would be able to see at Torch Lake. So that was a little disappointing, but just another re reason to come back. But normally the water is really vibrant blue green, but it was just not cooperating today with the weather. It was really hazy and about to rain. We still had a great time even though the weather wasn't the best, but if you are looking for something fun to do during the summer, definitely add Torch Lake to your summer bucket list. This is a great spot to run a boat, bring your own boat if you own a boat, and the whole family will have so much fun. able to pull up to one of the sandbars and get out of the boat and do a little swimming in the water. I kept checking the weather app because I knew that it was going to rain. So once I saw that the rain was coming in, we decided to get out of the water and head back to shore because I did not want to get stuck out on the lake with my toddler. That just did not sound fun at all and they were calling for a storm so we just wanted to play it safe. But I'm glad we were able to do that though. After we got back to Bel Air, we freshened up and then Karen and I headed to the Bel Air bar. She wanted to grab a drink here, so we checked that out. And I think everybody was here because of the weather. Her and I just came for drinks. Franklin stayed back with my parents, enjoyed some time with them. And so this was just a really a nice spot to grab a drink at the bar. They had some really neat decor. And the food looked so good. We both were like, we have to come back here and eat. It looked like really good bar food. So definitely check this place out if you're looking for that type of food if you are coming to Bel Air. 
added back to the end and then we got the rest of the group ready for dinner we had dinner at the corner bistro this was one of the restaurants that parents had picked out so we decided to eat here for dinner and we ate probably around five o'clock I feel like I haven't checked in on this vlog for a while, but we came back from Torch Lake because of the storm that was rolling in on the lake. And then we came back to the inn and then we kind of relaxed, regrouped, took showers, freshened up. And then Karen and I went to the Bel Air Bar. She really wanted to go there, so we had a drink there. And they were super busy, but it has a really cute vibe. Then we came back here and then we just finished dinner at the Corner Bistro, which was good. It was it was pretty good, but it was a little expensive for what you got. You to get small plates, but I don't think I would necessarily go back there. But the food at the Bel Air Bar looked really good, like really good bar food when we were there having drinks. So I definitely would check that out if that's more your vibe or scene. And I came back to the room to drop off our leftovers, and then I'm going to go head back and meet up with the group and continue our night here in Bel Air, Michigan. Good morning. Today is our checkout day here in Bel Air, Michigan. We had a really great stay, but I think we're all kind of ready to go back home and get back into our routines. So we are just packing everything up and then we are heading home, which is probably like a three and a half hour drive. So that's basically our plan for today. And I'm not sure if I'll check back in to this vlog later, but if not, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here so you can go on more adventures with us. Until next time, bye. We did stop for a coffee and breakfast at Ruth Ann's Bakery. We walked here before leaving Bel Air and got some coffee and breakfast to take on the road with us.